Dear students, welcome. Today I am going to take a class on simple harmonic motion. This will be our second class on simple harmonic motion. Today I shall try to solve some problems on simple harmonic motion. First of all, I shall solve these two problems. Question number one and question number two. See the question number one. The velocity v of a particle moving along the x-axis is expressed by the equation v square is equal to 16 minus x square. Prove that the motion is simple harmonic. Also find it cheap, period. Before going to solve this problem, I would like to remind you the definition of simple harmonic motion. A particle is said to execute simple harmonic motion if it moves in a straight line such that its acceleration is always directed towards a fixed point in the line and is proportional to the distance of the particle from the fixed point. And uh, the equation of simple now <coughs> x double dot x double dot means x double dot means d2 x by dt square x double dot should be equal to minus mu x mu is the intensity of force or it, the acceleration if you if we get the acceleration equal to a negative sign a constant and an h so x should be there suppose uh, we have got mu x square it will not be a simple harmonic motion if you get mu into 1 by x it will not be again simple harmonic motion minus sign is there if you require x, you will, uh, this will not be a simple harmonic motion. To get a simple harmonic motion, you must have acceleration equal to a minus a constant and x. And x. Let first. <coughs> the given equation is v square is equal to x square. The given equation is the given equation. Is, The given equation is v square equal to 16 minus x square. What is acceleration? d2x by dt square or dv by dt. dv by dt is also an expression of uh, uh, acceleration. Or you may write v dv by dx. V dv by dx. And the right hand side is a function of x. Therefore, you have to differentiate it with respect to x. Now differentiating with respect to x we get. Differentiating 1 with respect to x we get. Differentiating 1 with respect to x we get. With respect to x we get. Twice v dv by dx equal to minus twice x or v dv by dx equal to minus x minus x. This means acceleration equal to minus 1 into x. This means acceleration. Acceleration is equal to minus, for mu it is 1, minus x. Acceleration is equal to minus x. This means that the motion is simple harmonic with time period twice pi by root mu means twice pi by root over 1, which represents a simple harmonic motion. A simple harmonic motion represents a simple harmonic motion with time period With time period equal to twice pi by root mu for mu it is one twice pi. The time period of this simple harmonic motion is this. The negative sign shows that the particle is attracted towards a fixed point, and the acceleration is proportional to x. Therefore, it satisfies the definition of simple harmonic motion. Therefore, it is simple harmonic motion, 
and time period is twice pi. You should remember x double dot equal to minus mu x. Also, time period equal to twice pi by root ping. Twice pi by root ping. x double dot is equal to minus mu by x, minus mu x, and time period is twice pi divided by root ping. Also, to solve some uh, to solve problems on simple harmonic motion, you should also remember that v square equal to mu into a square minus x square. V square equal to mu into a square minus x square. What is a? A is the amplitude of motion. What is b? B is the velocity of the particle when it is at a distance x from the center of force. Also, x equal to a cos root mu t. X equal to a cos root mu t. X is the distance of the particle at time t. At time t. Therefore, we have done the question number one. It is very simple. <coughs> one mark question or two marks maximum. The motion is simple harmonic, also the uh, period is this. Now let us try to solve the question number two. Let us try to solve the question number two. <coughs> what is this? A particle moving with simple harmonic motion in a straight line has velocities v1, v2 at distances x1, x2 from the center of its path. x1, x2 from the center of its path. So that if t be the period of its motion, then t equal to this. You see, velocities at two positions are given. v1 and v2 when it is at the distance is x1 and x2 from the center of force. From the center of the path means the from the center of force. And you have to find the time period. What is the expression of time period? T equal to twice pi by root mu. You have to find the value of mu. Obviously, we will get two relations between v1, v2 and also x1, x2. From these relations, you should uh, find the value of mu in terms of x1, x2, v1, v2. Then you will definitely find uh, you will definitely find out able to find the time period. Now, in simple harmonic motion, we have in some in simple harmonic motion, as I said, we have. V square equal to mu into a square minus x square. What is a? A is the amplitude of motion. V is the velocity of the particle when it is at a distance x from the center of force. From the center of force. This means number one. <clears throat> where, where a equal to amplitude of motion. A equal to the amplitude of motion. V is the velocity of the particle when it is at a distance x from the center of force. V is the is the velocity of the particle when it is at a distance. distance x from the center of force when it is at the distance x from the center of force now suppose this is the center of force and a, a and areas are two positions of rest a and areas are two positions of rest. If just velocity is v1 and v2, here it is velocity v1, velocity equal to v1, when it is at the distance x1 from the center of force, it is the one this. Also, it is here velocity is equal to v2, when it is at the distance x2 from the center of force. 
एक्स टू फ्रॉम द सेंटर ऑफ फोर्स गिवन दया यू मे राइट गिवन दया भी इक्वल टू भी वन व्हेन एक्स इक्वल टू एक्स वन भी इक्वल टू भी वन व्हेन एक्स इक्वल टू एक्स वन भी इक्वल टू भी टू व्हेन एक्स इक्वल टू एक्स टू दिस टू कंडीशन्स आर गिवन भी इक्वल टू भी वन व्हेन एक्स इक्वल टू एक्स वन भी इक्वल टू भी टू व्हेन एक्स इक्वल टू एक्स टू देयरफॉर फ्रॉम वन वी गेट देयरफॉर फ्रॉम वन वी गेट फ्रॉम वन वी गेट भी वन स्क्वायर इक्वल टू म्यू इनटू ए स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स वन स्क्वायर नंबर टू भी टू स्क्वायर इक्वल टू म्यू इनटू ए स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स टू स्क्वायर दिस इज नंबर थ्री now from the relations 2 and 3 from the relations 2 and 3 we have to find the value of mu also you see here and uh, you see the drag diagram also when the particle is approaching towards o the velocity will be decrease will be increasing from a to o obviously v2 is greater than v1 Also, x1 is greater than x2, v2 is greater than v1. Therefore, that is why here it is written v2 square minus v1 square, not v1 square minus v2 square, because v2 is greater than v1. Now, from uh, 3 minus 2, subtracting 2 from 3, we get subtracting 2 from 3, we get. Subtracting two from three, three minus two implies three minus two implies. This means we are subtracting two from three. We get p three p two square minus p one square equal to mu. Come on, a square minus x two square minus a square minus x one square. This is equal to mu. Into x1 square minus x2 square. X1 square minus x2 square. Look at this. This means mu equal to v2 square minus v1 square divided by x1 square minus x2 square. You will get this one. You will get this one. <clears throat> This means one by mu equal to x two square minus x one square. No, no, no. X one square minus x two square. Take the reciprocal. P two square minus p one square. Mu equal to this. One by mu will be equal to this. One by root mu equal to thus. Put the root of sign here. Therefore, time period is. Therefore, time period is, or periodic time. T is given by t equal to twice pi by root mu. Root mu. This means t equal to twice pi. One by root mu is this. Therefore, you may write here x one square minus x two square divided by v two square minus v one square. This is the question. This is the other periodic time or time period. Time period is given by this. We have solved these two problems. Let us take some more problems. I have written two questions. Question number three and question number four. See the question number three. In a simple harmonic motion, the distance of a particle from the middle point of its path. Middle point means the center of force of its path. At three consecutive seconds are observed to be x, y, z. Three consecutive seconds. The solution of number three. Solution of number three. In simple harmonic motion, at three consecutive seconds means the distance is given in terms of time. You know, you should remember the 
definition uh, uh, formulas of simple harmonic motions the results of simple harmonic motions of course x double dot equal to minus mu x p square equal to mu into a square minus x square x equal to a cos root mu t time period t is twice pi by root mu this results should be remembered and here distance in terms of time is given therefore what uh, result uh, will have to be should be applied here x is equal to a cos root mu t in simple harmonic motion in simple harmonic motion we have x equal to a cos root mu t where x is the distance of the particle from the middle point at time t at time t suppose this this the middle point middle point means the center of force this is the middle point Middle point means the center of force. Middle point means center of force. Also, these two positions are raised. Velocity should be equal to zero and velocity should be equal to zero here. These two are the positions of raised. Three consecutive seconds. Three consecutive seconds. Suppose at time t one, its distance is x. Time t one. When its distance is y, time consecutive seconds means t one plus one seconds. Consecutive seconds. And when it is distance z from the center of force, the time is t one plus two consecutive seconds. First uh, t1 second. Next, next second will be t1 plus one. One second. Consecutive seconds <coughs> are given to. In simple harmonic motion, we have this, where x is the distance of the particle from the center of force or from the middle point at time t. At time t. Given that, now given that. At three consecutive seconds, x equal to given that x equal to here it is x when t equal to t one t one c t equal to t one c x equal to y when t equal to t one plus one second x equal to z here x is equal to z. When t equal to t1 plus 2, t1 plus 2, three consecutive seconds, the distances are given to be x, y, and z. Therefore, from 1 we get, therefore, from 1 we get, from 1 we get x equal to a cos root mu t1. Suppose this is number 2. When the time is t1 plus 1, x, x equal to uh, y. x is equal to y when y when root mu t equal to t1 plus 1 and z a cos root mu t1 plus 2. Here is the amplitude of boson. Here is the amplitude of boson. Now, we have to find the time of a complete oscillation. Means we have to find the periodic time of the simple harmonic boson. Means you have to find twice pi by root mu. You have to find the root value of root mu or mu. From these three relations, you should find root mu. In terms of x, y, and z, you see here. In terms of x, y, and z, you should find root mu. Now, 
here it is you, you see the uh, time period is twice pi by root mu is you should find root mu is equal to cos inverse x plus z divided by twice y x plus z divided by twice y <coughs> x plus z for to find x plus z you should add 2, two and 3 adding 2 and 3 we get let me remove from here <coughs> Plus three implies two plus three. X plus Z equal to Z equal to A cos root nu B plus A cos root nu uh, T one plus two T one plus two. This means X plus Z equal to A cos root mu t1 plus 2 plus cos root mu t1 you will get this one now just the uh, <coughs> class 11 trigonometrical formula what is this cos a plus cos b this is equal to 2 cos a plus b by 2 into cos a minus b by 2 in the cos a minus b by 2 a minus b divided by 2 now apply this formula here this means x plus z equal to a twice cos a plus b by 2 this plus this divided by 2 root b divided by 2 into cos a minus b by 2 into cos root mu t1 plus 2 minus root mu t1 divided by 2 divided by 2 this means x plus z equal to a into 2 cos here uh, <coughs> root mu if you take root mu common, t1 plus 2 plus t1. t1 plus 2 plus t1 means 2 times of t1 plus 2. This means 2 times of t1 plus 2. Uh, 2 can be taken common, 2 times of t1 plus 1 divided by 2. Into cos, root mu t1, root mu t1 will be cancelled. Root mu t1, root mu t1 will be cancelled. 2 times of root mu divided by 2 will be the answer. Will be the answer. This 2, this 2 will be cancelled. This 2, this 2 will be cancelled. Now let me write it. <coughs> this means. <coughs> x plus z this is equal to twice a cos root mu t1 plus 1 into cos of root mu you will get this one now a cos root mu t1 plus 1 from 3 it is y Twice y cos root mu by from 3 by, by 3 by 3 or cos root mu equal to x plus z divided by twice y x plus z divided by twice y x plus z divided by twice y this means root mu equal to cos inverse x plus z divided by twice y therefore the time period is therefore the time period is the time period is is 
t equal to is given by time period t is given by t equal to twice pi by root t which is equal to twice pi divided by cos inverse x plus z divided by twice pi that is t equal to twice pi by cos inverse x plus z divided by twice pi this is the periodic time t equal to twice pi divided by cos inverse x plus z divided by twice y x plus z divided by twice y this is the periodic time or time period therefore we have solved the question number three now <coughs> Now, let us try to solve the question number two. What is this? Perhaps you have already noted. <coughs> let me remove this one. What is this? The speed V of a particle moving along the x-axis or axis of x is given by this. So that the boson is simple harmonic. Just like question number one. Simple harmonic with its center at x is equal to 4b. With its center at x is equal to 4b. And amplitude twice b. Center x is equal to 4b, amplitude twice b. Also, time from, also find the time taken by the particle from x is equal to 5b to x is equal to 6b x is equal to 5b to x is equal to 6b. Now, <clears throat> solution of question number 4. Question number 4. The given relation is given that given that v square equal to n square into a bx minus x b square minus given b square given that this v square is equal to n square into 8bx minus x square minus 12b square now to show that this is simple harmonic motion for that you should show that the acceleration is equal to minus a constant and x means acceleration is directed towards the center of force towards, towards a fixed point also, acceleration should proportional uh, to the distance of the particle from the fixed point. It should proportional, proportional to the distance of the particle. Therefore, the right hand side is, it is a function of x. It is a function of x. Therefore, you should differentiate this with respect to x. Differentiating one with respect to x we get. Differentiating one with respect to x we get differentiating one with respect to x we get twice v dv by dx equal to m square 8b minus twice x 8b minus twice x this means that v dv by dx should be equal to minus m square into x minus 4b because we have divided both side by 2 the 2 is cancelled and 8b minus twice x means 4b minus x negative sign has been taken because uh, th that's why we have written x minus 4b yeah. this means p dv by dx it is acceleration. Expression for acceleration is d2x by dt square or dv by dt or v dv by dx. This means that acceleration x double dot. x double dot means d2x by dt square equal to minus m square x minus 4b. x minus 4b. Suppose this is number 2. This is number Now, 
कौन सी दाल डालते हैं इसको बीच में Capital X equal to X minus 4B. Let us suppose that capital X is equal to X minus 4B. Differentiate this with respect to A. With respect to T. X dot equal to X small X dot. Small X dot. This means capital X double dot is equal to small X double dot. Small X double dot means D2 X by D square. Now from 2 we get, therefore from 2 we get, 2 implies capital X double dot equal to minus M square capital X, capital X, which uh, you see capital X double dot equal to minus a constant into X, which represents a simple harmonic boson, which represents a simple harmonic boson. which represents a simple harmonic boson with time period it has not been asked in the question but you should find the time period time period t equal to twice pi by root mean means twice pi by x square equal to twice pi by m twice pi by m Twice pi by n is the time period. M center here. Center here. X equal to zero. Center at X is equal to zero. That is center here. Yeah. What is X? Small x minus 4b. X minus 4b equal to zero. That is center here. X equal to 4b. Center at x is equal to 4b. Center at x is equal to 4b. Also, the time period is twice pi by l. Now, <clears throat> what is the amplitude? And also, you are to find the amplitude of the song. What is the amplitude? It is nothing but a distance. Distance between the center of force and the, the position of rest is called the amplitude of motion. Distance between the center of force and the position of rest is the amplitude of motion. Now you see, this is zero. Center is at x is equal to 4b. Center is at x is equal to 4b x is equal to 4 this is the center this is the center x is equal to 4 <coughs> now what is the position of brace to find the position of brace means where the velocity of the particle is zero position of brace means velocity is equal to zero putting v equal to zero Suppose uh, perhaps it, uh, we have we notated that uh, equation number or equation number one putting putting p equal to zero in p square equal to m square a b x minus x square minus two b square we get we get or you may write putting p equal to zero in one we get or range of motion is given by v equal to zero range of motion is v equal to zero when the v equal to zero they will, you, you will uh, find the we shall find the value of x when v equal to zero suppose putting v equal to zero in this we get zero equal to m square eight bx minus x square minus 12 b square this means that x square minus 8bx plus 12b square equal to 0. 
12 b square equal to 0 or x square minus 6 into x. 6 bx minus twice bx plus 12 b square equal to 0. This is equal to 0. <coughs> or <coughs> x into x minus 6 b minus twice b x minus 6 b equal to 0 or x minus 6 b x minus 2 b equal to 0 this means x is equal to twice b and 6 b x is equal to twice b and x is equal to 6 b are two positions of rest are two positions of rest therefore x is equal to twice b and x is equal to 6 b are Positions of race are two positions of race. X is equal to twice b, x is equal to six b are two positions of race. Here you see x is equal to four b is the center of force. X is equal to twice b. Here x is equal to twice b. Means here the velocity is equal to zero. Also x is equal to six b. Velocity equal to zero. Here x is equal to six b. The particle will come to rest at two positions when it is at x is equal to 6b and when it is at x is equal to twice b. And this is the middle point. The particle oscillates between these two points, twice b and 6b, twice b and 6b. And x is equal to 4b is the center of force of the simple harmonic motion. Now you can easily find the Amplitude of motion, the distance between the center of force and the position of rest. What is the distance between these two? 6b minus 4b equal to twice b. Twice b. <coughs> these two are positions of rest. The particle will rest at these two positions. <coughs> Therefore, amplitude of motion. motion is equal to 6b. It is nothing but the distance. Amplitude is nothing but the distance. The distance between center of force and the position of rest. 6b minus 4b. This is equal to twice b. From this to this, twice b. From 0 to this, 4b. From this to this, 6b. What is the distance between these two? Distance between these two. This distance minus this distance. What is this distance? This distance is 6b. 6b minus 4b equal to 5b. This is the amplitude of motion. We have done up to this. Now, find also the time from x is equal to 5b to x is equal to 6b. Find also the time from x is equal to 5b to x is equal to 6b. The last part of the question. Let last part of the question lay time taken by the particle by the particle from x is equal to 5b to x is equal to 6b. Time taken by the particle from x is equal to 5b to x is equal to 6b. This is equal to Time taken by the particle by the particle from x is equal to 6b to x is equal to 5b. x is equal to 6b to x is equal to 5b. Time taken by the particle from x is equal to 6b to x is equal to 5b. Now, x is equal to 6b is from here to here. It is x is equal to 5b x is equal to 5b. We have to find the time taken from this and this. x is equal to 6b and x is equal to 5b. Time taken from this. In 
equal to T1C. Let time the room by the particle from x is equal to 5b to x is equal to 6b is equal to the time taken by the particle from x is equal to 6b to x is equal to 5b. Suppose it is t1. Suppose it is t1. Now, v square equal to. V square equal to. We have to find the time taken by the particle. V square is equal to n square into 8bx minus x square minus 12b square. V square is equal to this. This means V equal to minus n root of R. 8BX minus X square minus 12B square. V equal to this. You have to find the time. X is equal to from X is equal to 6. B to X is equal to 5B. Means you should find the relation between X and T. Therefore, for V, you should write dx by dt minus m root of r 8bx minus x square minus 12b square minus 12b square. It is a differential equation. Variables are x and t. Separate the variables and integrate dx by root of r. 8bx minus x square minus 12b square equal to minus n times of dt. Minus n times of dt. Now integrating we get. Integrating we get. Integrating we get. Integrating we get. Integration. Integration. dx by. 8bx minus x square minus 12b square equal to integration minus n dt. Here x equal to and t equal to. X is equal to t. When the particle was at the point this one, x is equal to 6b. 6b. Then time is 0. When the particle arrives at the point this, x is equal to 5b, 5b, then we have, suppose that the time taken by the particle is t1. t1. x is equal to 6b to 5b, that, therefore the integration is this. <coughs> now, now, by using a definite integral, it is minus sign, definite integral. This means n times of t1 because if you integrate this, uh, t from 0 to t1, t1 minus 0, t1 minus 0, you may write t1 minus 0. Equal to integral x is equal to 5b to 6b dx divided by root of r 8bx minus x square minus 12b square. The property of a definite integral has been used. Integration a to b fx dx. This is the property equal to minus integral b to a fx dx. This property has been used here. Just uh, in the sense, this one, the limit of this integral. Put a negative sign, therefore the negative sign has been removed. If you remove this negative sign, you will have to intersect this one. Think of this. This means mt1, mt1 equal to you should integrate this one. And you are. Integrate this one. Integral. Dx by. Root of R. This is x bar. <coughs> 2 times of x. Into 4b. Minus x bar. Minus. 4b whole square. 
plus 4b whole square minus 12b square. You may write like this. You may write like this. 8bx minus x square minus 12b square. We have written minus 4b whole square and plus 4b whole square. Now, now, this means m t1 equal to integrate x is equal to here 5b to 6b, 5b to 6b, tx divided by root of r, 4b square means 16b square, minus 12b square means 4b square, the 4b square means twice b whole square can be written like this. You may write 4b whole square is equal to twice b whole square minus it is x minus 4b whole square x minus 4b whole square x minus 4b whole square. What is the integration of this? What is the integration of this? 1 by root of r a square minus x square equal to sin inverse x by a. Simple. Because if you differentiate this, you will get 1. This means m t1 equal to pi b to 6b m t1 equal to sin inverse x minus 4b divided by twice b. 6b, 5b, 5b to 6b, 5b to 6b, or mt1 equal to sin inverse 6b minus 4b by twice b minus sin inverse 5b minus 4b divided by twice b. This means mt1 equal to sin inverse. It will be twice b by twice b means 1, sin inverse 1, minus, it will be sin inverse, b divided by twice b, 1 by 2, 1 by 2, sin inverse 1 by 2. This means mt1 equal to, it is pi by 2, minus, what is the value of sin 30 degree? Uh, sin 30 degree means 1 by 2. Sin 30 degree means pi by 6. Pi by 6. Pi by 6. Sin inverse half means pi by 6. This is equal to 6. 5 pi minus pi. This is equal to twice pi by 6. Equal to pi by 3. Pi by 3. This means n equal to n equal to no, t equal to twice pi by thrice t1 equal to pi by thrice m. T is equal to, t1 is equal to, this is the time taken by the particle form. x is equal to 5b2, x is equal to 6b. This is the answer. Pi by thrice m is the answer. This is the time, record time taken by the particle form. So this. Let us take one more problem. Let us try to solve this problem. <clears throat> what is this? A particle executes simple harmonic motion in a straight line. In the first second after starting from rest, it travels a distance a small a. And in the next second, it travels a distance b in the same direction in the same direction. Now, you see here. This is, here velocity equal to 0. Velocity is equal to 0. And it is the center of force. Suppose this is the center of force. After starting from rest, the particle is, is moving from A from A to in this direction. In the first second, it travels a distance A. It travels a distance A. 
also in the next second it travels a distance b but in the same direction in the same direction it is starting from this it is uh, to travel the distance b it is not going uh, towards this uh, towards a it is in the same direction from after starting from rest from a to this it travels a distance a and from this to this it travels a distance b and time the bomb by the particle for both the uh, to cover both the distance a and b is one second each one second each. it is given in the question in the first second it travels a distance small a and in the next second it travels a distance small b in the same direction so that the empty we have to find the amplitude of motion here we have to find the amplitude of motion now the in the question distance and time the we have to find up uh, we have to apply the relation between distance and time what is this x equal to a cos root mu t what is a a is the amplitude x is the distance of the particle from the it is measured from the center of force from the center of force in time t now it is given that uh, it is a distance uh, x is equal to a cos root mu here a is the amplitude therefore we uh, therefore <coughs> we will suppose that the amplitude is not a it is lambda let lambda be the amplitude of motion let lambda be the amplitude of motion amplitude of motion let lambda be the amplitude of motion in simple harmonic motion we get in simple harmonic motion we get we have in simple harmonic motion we have x equal to a cos root mu t lambda cos root mu t lambda is amplitude here here lambda is equal to amplitude suppose this is number one lambda equal to amplitude in this case lambda is equal to amplitude in this case now what is x? x is the distance of the particle from the center of force from the center of force at time t you see here in the first second it travels a distance small a given that given that x equal to from this to this it travels a distance a when t equal to 1, 1 second, t is equal to 1, of course it is second. From a, it travels small a. What is the distance of the particle at this position from the center of force? From, since it is, uh, the amplitude is lambda, it is lambda. It is lambda minus a. From this to this, it is lambda minus a. It will be lambda minus a. Also, x equal to lambda minus when the particle arrives this position, then distance from this to this will be equal to lambda minus lambda minus a plus b. From this to this, it will be lambda minus a. Lambda minus a. <coughs> lambda minus a plus b. Then total time taken by the particle from A, uh, total time is 2 seconds. When T equal to 2, when T is equal to 2, of course it is second, in second. Perhaps uh, you have understood this one. In the first second, when T is equal to 1, the particle arrives this position. Then what is the distance of this particle from the center of force? It is lambda minus A. When the particle arrives, here in two seconds what is the distance of this of the particle from the center of force it is lambda minus a plus b lambda minus a plus b therefore from one therefore from one we get means one in place x means uh, <coughs> you will have to write lambda minus a this is equal to lambda cos 
root mu into one. Root mu into one. Means lambda into one minus cos of root mu equal to a. Take this two left the side and this two the right the side. A lambda minus lambda cos root mu. Lambda is common. One minus cos root mu. <clears throat> now, one minus cos theta equal to twice sine square theta by two. One plus cos theta equal to twice cos square theta by two. If you remember this, lambda into twice sine square theta by two means root over mu divided by two equal to a. Divided by two equal to a. This means. <clears throat> This means sine square root mu by two equal to a by twice lambda. Suppose this is the bottom. Using the, this relation, we have obtained sine square root mu by two equal to a divided by twice lambda. We have to find the value of lambda. Remember that we have to find the value of lambda in terms of a and b. Also, lambda equal to lambda. Also, lambda equal to also x equal to lambda minus a plus b. X is equal to lambda minus a plus b. When t equal to two, therefore from one you will get from one you will get from one you will get. Lambda minus a plus b, a plus b. This is equal to lambda cos root of our mu into two. Cos root of our mu into two. You get this one. Just as before, <coughs> take this to right hand side and this to uh, left hand side to this to right hand side. Lambda into one minus cos of two times of root mu should be equal to a plus b. Should be equal to a plus b. Now, this means same formula. One minus cos theta equal to twice sine square theta by two. One minus cos two theta equal to twice sine square theta. This is equal to twice sine square theta. Theta means this. Equal to a plus b. One minus cos two theta equal to twice sine square theta. We have applied this one from class eleven trigonometry. One minus cos two times of theta equal to twice sine square theta. This means sine square root mean. Equal to a plus b divided by twice lambda. A plus b divided by twice lambda. Now we shall apply the equation number two. It is sine square root mu by two equal to a divided by twice lambda. It is sine square root mu. Therefore, you should write here. <coughs> this means two sine. Root mu by two into cos root mu by two. This whole square equal to a plus b by twice lambda. A plus b divided by twice lambda. What the <coughs> formula we have applied? Sine theta equal to twice sine theta by two into cos theta by two. We have applied this one since since sine theta equal to twice sine theta by two into cos theta by two. This is whole square. This means four sine square root mu by two into cos square root mu by two equal to a plus b divided by twice lambda. A plus b divided by twice lambda. We have to show that the amplitude of motion is this. Therefore, we should we may remove from this to this, from that. Let me write in this 
This is the division of the soul. <coughs> this means sine square root mu by 2. Therefore, you may write here this means 4 sine square root mu by 2 into 1 minus sine square root mu by 2 equal to a plus b divided by twice lambda. A plus b divided by twice lambda. This means 4 sine square root mu by 2 means a divided by twice lambda a divided by twice lambda 1 minus again a divided by twice lambda remember we are to find the value of lambda therefore this lambda this lambda will be cancelled 2 lambda 2 lambda will be cancelled this means 1 minus a by twice lambda equal to a plus b divided by 4 a this is 4a. This means a by twice lambda equal to 1 minus a plus b divided by 4. A plus b divided by 4. Let me write here. <coughs> now, this means from this to this. This means a divided by twice lambda equal to 4a. 4a minus a minus b. 4a minus a minus b. This means here 2 and here 2. You may write 2 here. a by lambda equal to thrice a minus b divided by twice a. By cross multiplication in the x, lambda equal to twice a square divided by thrice a minus b. Twice a square divided by thrice a minus b. Therefore, amplitude equal to this. Therefore, amplitude equal to this. Amplitude is equal to twice a square divided by thrice a minus b. Amplitude is equal to twice a square divided by thrice a minus b. Dear students, today I want to stop here. Perhaps you have enjoyed that class. Thanks for attending the class. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.